Coming up, it's the High School Quiz Show Championship with Lexington High School. <laughs> Taking on Advanced Math and Science Woo! Academy. That's next on High School Quiz Show. Buying insurance shouldn't be a race against time. These are the most important assets you're protecting. You can talk to an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage life storms. Everybody and welcome in to High School Quiz Show. I'm your host, Billy Costa, and this is it. The final two teams. The match that will determine the 2016 High School Quiz Show state champion. Today's championship matchup has Advanced Math and Science Academy from Marlboro taking on Lexington High School. Let's get right to it and meet these fabulous teams. On the advanced math and science team, we have Shashank, Abhinav, Ani, and Tim with the alternates, Abhiram and Rohan on the sidelines, and of course, coach Jessica Bowen. Nice round of applause. And from the Lexington High team, we have Ravi, Colin, Devin, and Krishna are the coaches. Carrie Darling, and Bill Cole, everybody. <laughs> the competition has four rounds, a toss-up, a head-to-head, -head, a category round, and a lightning round. And of course, we'll start with a toss-up round. All answers are worth 10 points. And this is the only round with no point deductions for any wrong answers. So teams, good luck, and here we go. Gangsters Al Capone and George Machine Gun Kelly were inmates at what notorious prison in San Francisco Bay? Yes, Krishna. Alcatraz. Yes. In Jonathan Swift's satire, Gulliver's Travels. Gulliver uh, travels to what land where all the residents are under six inches tall? Yes, Krishna. Lilliput. Yes. An irregularly shaped cornea can result in what common eye disorder that begins with the letter A? Yes, Tim. Astigmatism? Yes. Uh, what country's highest peak, Pico Turquino, is about 100 miles west of Guantanamo Bay? Yes, Krishna. Cuba. Yes. All right, take a look at your screens. Uh, you will see a picture. Now, this robe is for a male performer of what classical form of Japanese theater that has existed since the 14th century? Yes, Devin. Kabuki theater? No, advanced math, Ani. No. Yes, that's correct. Uh, the fastest kind of seismic waves are called P waves. What does the P stand for? Yes, Abina. Primary? Yes. In December 2015, what chair of the U.S. Federal Reserve announced that the Fed was raising interest rates for the first time in nearly a decade? Yes, Shashank. Janet Yellen? Yes. Uh, the Black Death, one of the most devastating pandemics in human history, peaked in Europe during the middle part of what century? Yes, yeah, Shashan. 14th century? Yes. Who was the only person to ever beat Venus Williams in a Wimbledon singles final? Yes, Robbie. Serena Williams? Yes. And now take a look at your screens. The next question is a video question, and here it comes. Hello, I'm Charlie Baker, governor of Massachusetts. Here's my question. The Massachusetts State House was built on land originally owned by what first elected governor of Massachusetts and signer of the Declaration of Independence? Yes, Colin? John Hancock. Of course. Okay, according to psychologist Eric Erickson's famous theory of development, individuals pass through how many developmental stages from infancy to late adulthood? Yes, Shashank. Seven? No, Lexington, you want to try? Uh, Colin? Four? No, eight is the answer. During World War II, the German defense of Normandy was led by what field marshal nicknamed the Desert Fox? Yes, Krishna. Rommel. Yes. Uh, what is the name of the panda cub born in October of 2015 at the Smithsonian's National Zoo? Yes, Colin. Bye-bye. 
Yes. Uh, if you raise the temperature inside a sealed tube, which of the following will happen to the pressure? It will A, increase, B, decrease, or C, stay the same. Yes, Ani. A. Increase is right. Math question. What is the value of X when 12 over X equals 9 over 6? Yes, Robbie. Eight. Eight is right. Although he won the Battle of Antietam, uh, what Union general was removed from his command because he failed to move rapidly to destroy Lee's army? Yes, Krishna. McClellan. Yes. Uh, Dean Moriarty is the reckless hero of what 1957 novel by Jack Kerouac? Yes, Colin. On the road? Yes. Pocahontas was the first Native American to learn English and the first to marry an Englishman. What settler did she marry on April 5th, 1614? Yes, Shishan. John Rolfe. Yes. What country that borders both the Red Sea and the Mediterranean Sea is the most populous country in the Arab world? Yes, Krishna. Egypt. Yes. Uh, what L.A. improv company is named for the lowest level of patrons at Shakespeare's Globe Theater, infamous for talking during performances and giving feedback in the form of rotten fruit? Yes, Colin. Roundlings? Yes. Which of the following capital cities is closest to Mount Kilimanjaro? Is it A, Rabat, B, Kinshasa, or C, Nairobi? Yes, Krishna. Nairobi. Yes. Known as the father of the symphony, the great composer uh, Franz Joseph Haydn was born in 1732 in what present-day country? Call it. Austria. Yes. Derived from the Spanish word for scrub oak, what type of biome is characterized by hot, dry land densely covered with shrubs and small trees? Yes, Krishna. Chaparro. Yes. Uh, math question. Lisa spent three quarters of her paycheck on furniture and the rest on a TV. If the TV cost her $200, what was the original value of her paycheck? Yes, Robbie. $800. Yes. Miles Halter, a boy fascinated by famous last words, is the protagonist of what book that was John Green's first novel? Yes, Abina. A Fault in Our Stars. No, Lexington. Yes, Krishna. Looking for Alaska. Yes. Served hot and frothy and flavored with chili peppers, what was the favorite drink of the Maya elite? Yes, Devin. Hot chocolate. Uh, cocoa? Chocolate? Yes. In 2015, what Grammy-winning a cappella group sold more than one million copies of their album, That's Christmas to Me? Yes, Krishna. Pentatonics? Yes. For eukaryotic cells, what process of cell reproduction uh, gives rise to two genetically identical daughter cells? Yes, Ravi. Mitosis? Yes. Uh, first coming to prominence around the year 600 B.C., what wise Athenian statesman, known as the lawgiver, is remembered for his reforms that led to the rise of democracy? Yes, Devin. Draco? No, advanced math. Yes, Tim. Solon? Yes. In 1894, President Grover Cleveland sent federal troops to Chicago to crush what labor strike that crippled railroad traffic across the nation? Yes, Krishna. The Pullman strike? Yes. Who wrote about the hardship and injustice of debtor's prison in his novel Little Dorrit? Yes, Krishna. Charles Dickens? Yes. From the Latin meaning exchange, what thin layer between the xylem and the phloem of most vascular plants gives rise to new cells and is responsible for secondary growth? Yes, Colin. Cambium. Yes. Since 2009, the American Repertory Theater in Cambridge has been running The Donkey Show, a disco musical adaptation of what Shakespeare play? Yes, Colin. A Midsummer Night's Dream. Yes. Uh, at 92 feet below sea level, what capital city of Azerbaijan is the lowest lying national capital in the world? Yes, Colin. Baku. Yes. What British philosopher born in 1806 is chiefly remembered for his theory of utilitarianism, which holds that one should make the most amount of happiness for the greatest number of people? Yes, Abhinav. Bentham. No, Lexington, you want to try. Devin? Mill. Yes, John Stuart Mill. After her husband's murder in 1865, what wife of Abraham Lincoln became the first presidential widow to receive a yearly pension? Yes, Ani. Mary Todd. Yes. Uh, what city is the... Oh, there's the bell. 
ending the round. Everybody can breathe. Uh, the score right now, Advanced Math and Science, 90 points. Lexington High School, 260 points. Let's go, folks. <laughs> All right, the head-to-head -head round is next. First, we take a minute to ask our players well about their plans after high school. Advanced math and science uh, will start, and uh, that means you, Shashank. Uh, so I want to go to a university that's close to a city, and I want to pursue a pre-med track. Oh, nice. Abina? Yeah, so going along that lines, I would like to pursue biomedical engineering at a uh, university. Mm-hmm. And Ani? Um, I'd like to go to a, a nice small college uh, and um, major in chemical engineering and maybe computer science. Very nice. And Tim? Yeah, I'd also like to go to college. And, uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> I'd like to go study abroad and perhaps major in English. I'm sure you're all going to do just fine. Lexington High School, Robbie, how about you? Um, I'm a junior, so I haven't started the application process yet, but I'm looking for a local college that has a strong debate program. Mm-hmm. Colin. I'm also a junior, but I'd like to go to a college or university near in a city. Mm -hmm. And Devin? Um, I'm a senior, so I'm looking for a college that has a strong history and interdisciplinary program. Very nice. And Krishna? Uh, like Robbie and Colin, also a junior, so I haven't really started the process uh, yet, but yeah. I'm looking for um, a university with, like, with, which is good in like, the sciences and the humanities, so like breadth, basically. Okay. Well, we're about to start the head-to-head -head round, and you guys all know how this works. One of you will come forward and represent the team. Uh, advanced Math and Science, who's it going to be? Shashank and Lexington High. Colin. Okay. Shashank, Colin, let's go. Head-to-head. -head. Come on down. <laughs> All right, we're about to go head to head. I have Colin on my left from Lexington High School. I've also got Shashank from Advanced Math and Science on my right. You guys are ready. Let's shake hands. This is a championship round. And as a reminder, in this round, you get 10 points for correct answers. Incorrect answers are going to cost you 10 points, and you can buzz in at any time. The clock is set at 90 seconds, and here we go. How many amendments make up the U.S. Bill of Rights? Yes. Ten. Yes. In human anatomy, uh, what layer of skin lies directly above the dermis? Yes. Epidermis. Yes. What Canadian province borders the U.S. state of Washington? Yes. British Columbia. Uh, yes. Who was the mayor of New York City at the time of the terrorist attacks? Yes. Rudy Giuliani. Yes. Uh, what is the SI unit of electrical current? Yes. Uh, oh, Hertz. No, the amp. What fictional starship has the serial number NCC? Enterprise. Yes. Who died at 46 just six months after publishing his last novel, 1984? Yes. George Orwell. Yes. Around 387 B.C., what Greek philosopher opened his academy just outside? Yes. Plato. Yes. What is the chemical formula of silicon dioxide? Yes. SiO2. Yes. What German author wrote the 1912 novella Death in Venice? Yes. Thomas Mann. Yes. How many milligrams are in a gram? Yes. 1,000. Yeah. What peasant known as the Mad Monk strongly influenced? Yes. Ross Putin. Yes. In 1852, what British physician first published the thesaurus of English words and phrases? Uh. Roger. Uh, Amy Cousy is the highest peak in what desert? Yep. Yeah. It's the Sahara. Yes. Anubis was the jackal-headed god, yes. A um, mummification. Egyptian was the answer. Uh, the Cape of Good Hope, is that the southern? Africa. Yes. Uh, both protons and neutrons have an approximate mass of how many AMU? One. Yes, the Pacific Ocean was named in 1519 by what? Yes. Ferdinand Magellan. Yes, a streetcar named Desire by Tennessee Williams is set in what US? New Orleans. Yes. What is the chemical symbol? Ooh. That's the end of round two. Let's take a look at the score, shall we? Uh, Advanced math and science, 170 points. Lexington High School, 320 points. Nice round of applause for both teams. Colin, good luck for the rest of the round. Shashank, good luck. <laughs> Next up is the category round, and we have the following categories. Far Out, Mr. Madison's War, Norse Code, now playing, reeling in the years, and late grades. Now, each category has five questions with increasing point values. Players, you can confer with your teammates, but once you buzz in, you're no longer allowed to confer. We're going to need your answer. Advanced math and science, you've got some ground to make up. Not much, but you've got some ground. You will get to choose the first category. I'm ready. Let's go. Uh, we're doing far out. Okay. Uh, questions? 
about astrophysics for 10 points. The relationship between mass and energy is expressed as what equation in Einstein's theory of special relativity? Yes, Abhinav. E equals mc squared. Yes, you've still got the board, advanced stay math. With it. We're going to stay with it for 15 points. In the early 1600s, what German astronomer established the three planetary laws of motion? Yes, yeah, Shashank. Kepler. Yes, you've still got the board, advanced math. Stay with it. Okay, far out for 20 points. Often used in science fiction to explain time travel, Einstein's general theory of relativity allows for the possibility of what portal or tunnel between black holes? Yes, Devin. Wormholes? Yes, and you've got the board now. Category? Madison's War. Mr. Madison's War, this is a new category. These are questions about the War of 1812, and for 10 points. When America declared war, Britain had over 500 ships, and the U.S. Navy had only 16. Luckily for the U.S., most of Britain's ships were busy fighting what European leader? Yeah, Shashank. Napoleon. Yes, and now you've got the board. Advanced math. Far out. This time for 25 points. Uh, in 1974, what British physicist worked out the exact theoretical model for how a black hole could emit radiation? Yes, Devin. Stephen Hawking. Yes, and you've got the board now. Category? Back to Madison's War. We're going back there. Mr. Madison's War for 15 points. Whose victory at the Battle of New Orleans made him a national hero and paved the way for his presidency in 1829? Yes, Andrew ahead. Jackson. Yes, that's correct, and you've got the board Stay with it for 20. Mr. Madison's War for 20. In 1813, the dying Captain James Lawrence of the USS Chesapeake gave what final five-word command that became a rallying cry for the Americans? Yes, Colin. Don't give up the ship. That's correct. You've still got the board, Lexington. Mr. Madison's War for 25. All right. What Shawnee chief who led a large tribal confederacy in support of the British was killed in battle on October 5th, 1813? Yes, Devin. Tecumseh. That's correct. You've still got the board, Lexington. Mr. Madison's War for 30. All right. Uh, the lyrics to the Star Spangled Banner were penned by Francis Scott Key on September 14th, 1814. After he watched the British attack, what fort in Baltimore? Yes, Devin. Fort McHenry. Yes, and you've got the board. You'll need a category. 30. Late, late greats. greats. No, late greats. Okay, late greats for 10. Late greats. Questions about people who passed away in 2015. For 10 points, the death of actor Leonard Nimoy uh, prompted an outpouring of tributes on Twitter under the hashtag LLAP, which stands for what? Live yes, long Colin. and prosper. Yes, you've still got the board. Lexi. Lake rates for 15, please. All right. Uh, the song When Love Comes to Town is a collaboration between you two and what guitar legend known as the King of the Blues? Yes, Devin. B.B. King. Yes, and you've still got the board, Lexington. Stay with late greats. For 20 points, what British neurologist wrote about the mysteries of the brain in the best-selling books, Awakenings, and the man who mistook his wife for a hat? Yes, Colin. Oliver Sacks. Yes, you've still got the board. Late greats for 25 points, All please. right. Uh, what Princeton mathematician who won a Nobel Prize for his contributions to game theory was the inspiration for the film A Beautiful Mind? Yeah, Shashank. Nash. Yes, John Nash of Advanced Math, you've got the Far board. Out. Far out for 30 points. Uh, any mass can become a black hole if it collapses down into what radius named after the German astronomer who calculated its formula in 1916? Yes, Tim. Schwarzschild? Yes, you've still got the board, Advanced Math. Late greats. Late greats, 30 points at stake here. What Irish-American star of Miracle on 34th Street and the parent trap was known as the queen of technicolor for her red hair and green eyes. Maureen O'Hara is the answer. And I believe, advanced math, you've got the board. Norse code. Norse code. This is a new category, by the way. Questions about Norse mythology. And for 10 points, uh, what god of storm and thunder has iron gloves and an invincible flying hammer? Yes, Tim. Thor. Yes, you've still got the board. Stick with it. Uh, Norse code for 15 points. Baldur, the god of light, is killed by his brother Hod, the god of darkness, at the instigation of what wily trickster? Yes, Shashank. Loki. Yes, you've still got the board. Keep going. Okay, Norse code for 20 points. The principal group of gods, the Aesir, lives at what heavenly palace connected to the earth by a rainbow bridge? Yes, Ani. Asgard. Yes, you've still got the board. Advanced math. We'll stick with it. Norse code for 25 points. What old Norse word, meaning doom of the gods, refers to a series of apocalyptic events that signals the end of the world? 
Yes, I'll be not. Ragnarok, we'll stick with it. Yes, okay. Uh, Norse code for 30 points. What's the name of the wolf that swallows Odin at Ragnarok and is slain by Vithar? Yes, Carl. Yes, and you've got the board now. New category. Reeling in the years. Reeling in the years. This is a new category. Name that year. And for 10 points, uh, President John F. Kennedy was assassinated while riding in a motorcade in Dallas on November 22nd of what year? Yes, Tim. 1965. No, Lexington. 1963. Oh. Yes, and you've still got the board, Lexington. Reeling in the years for 15 points, All right, please. the Soviet flag flew over the Kremlin in Moscow for the last time on Christmas Day of what year? Yes, I'll be now. 1991. That is correct. Now you've got the board. We'll man. stick with it. Reeling in the years for 20 points. The Vietnam War was effectively ended when Saigon finally fell to communist North Vietnamese forces on April 30th of what year? Yes, Shashank. 1973. No, Lexington. Want to try it? 1975 is the answer, but you've still got the board. Reeling in the years. Please. Reeling in the years, this time for 25 points. Following a nationalist struggle that lasted nearly three decades, India and Pakistan both won their independence from Britain in August of what year? Yes, Shashank. 1947. That is correct. You've still got the uh, board. Stick with it. Uh, reeling in the years for 30 points. Authors Miguel de Cervantes and William Shakespeare both died in April of what year? 1616. I've only got the one category, and the category is now playing. Questions about recent musicals, and for 10 points, All American Prophet and Tomorrow is a Latter Day are songs from what musical from the creators of South Park? Yes, Colin. The Book of Mormon? Yes. Uh, this time for 15 points. Uh, based on a film of the same name, what new musical set in London is about a talented soccer player named Jess who rebels against her strict Indian parents? Yes, Ani. Bend it like Beckham? Yes. And now playing for 20 points. Uh, based on a book by Roald Dahl, what musical features a bright little girl who's bullied by her parents and her headmistress, uh, the fearsome Miss Trunchbull? Yes, I'll be not. Matilda? Yes, and this time now playing for 25 points. One Fine Day and I Feel the Earth Move are songs from Beautiful, a new musical about what singer-songwriter who fought her way into the record business as a teenager? Yes, Devin. King? Yes, Carol King. One more question, now playing for 30 points in 2015. Who became the toast to Broadway as the composer, lyricist, and star of the hit musical Hamilton? Yes, Colin. Lynn manuel Miranda. That is correct for 30 points. And there is the bell ending the category round. So now the score. Advanced Math and Science, 375 points. Lexington High School, 605 points. How about it, folks? This is the championship round. Okay, we're heading into the final 90 seconds of gameplay. It is the lightning round round and uh, you get 20 points for each correct answer incorrect answers will cost you 20 so the clock is set teams good luck this is for the championship what is the largest animal in the world yes i mean uh, who will yes which planet is named after the roman god of war yes i mean on uh, uh, mars yes the island of bali is part of what country yes indonesia I mean, uh, Yes, visible light wavelengths are commonly denoted in what unit that's one billionth? Yes, I mean, uh, uh, like millihertz? No, nanometer. Uh, name the junior United States Senator of Massachusetts. Yes, Colin. Ed Markey. Yes, who wrote the tale of Squirrel Nutkin and the tale of Jemima Puddle Duck? Yes, Colin. Mother Goose. No, Beatrix Potter. In 1954, what American scientist won a Nobel Prize for his research into the nature of the chemical bond? Yes, Ani. Lewis? No, Linus Pauling. Uh, the story of Moby Dick was inspired by what real life? Yes. No answer. Okay. The Essex was the answer. Uh, what Middle Eastern country was created on May 14th, 1948? Yes, I mean, uh, uh, Israel? Yes. Uh, who was often credited with inventing the first nonfiction novel with In Cold Blood? Yes, Tim. Truman Capote. Yes, American icon Julia Child made her television debut in 1963 on what public television program? Yes, Colin. Ah, uh, the French chef. Yes. Natural rubber is white. What common element added to tire rubber? Yes, I'll be mean, Sulfur? 
No carbon. In 1972, what superhero appeared on the first regular issue of Gloria Steinem's Ms. Magazine? Call Wonder it. Woman. Yes. Which U.S. state has the most electoral votes in the Electoral College? Yes, Robbie. California. Yes. What Supreme Court justice wrote the majority opinion in the Dred Scott? Yes. Uh, Tony. Oh, did he make it? Yes, he made it. So they get credit for the point. But the winner and this year's high school quiz show champion is Lexington High School with a score of 665 points. The runner-up with 415 points advanced math and science. Wow, what a season. Congratulations uh, to both teams for this game and another great season. But here's the deal. Lexington High School now will move on to the fourth annual Governor's Cup Challenge to take on the winner of New Hampshire Public Television's Granite State Challenge. But that's it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching High School Quiz Show, everybody. Check out High School Quiz Show on YouTube for full episodes and bonus features. Visit our website at highschoolquizshow.org. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. High School Quiz Show is available on Xfinity TV on demand from Comcast. Safety insurance. Sometimes you need additional protection, especially when it comes to auto, home, and business insurance. You can ask an independent agent about enhanced coverage from safety insurance. We'll help you manage life storms. Production of WGBH.